While he was talking on the phone, I locked the door. And his back was turned while I locked the door. I stopped at that. What's up, Perfectly Blended family, and welcome back to another video. I'm Chantel. And I'm Craig. In this video, we're going to be discussing something that's really interesting. I stopped a fact. But before we get into this story, make sure you subscribe, subscribe. and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell. bell so when we drop a new video, you're, you're alerted. alerted. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we left 2020 with a very interesting story. What day was it? It was December 24th, 2020, so Christmas Eve. Yeah. Now, the day started off with me going about my usual routine. Here in Ontario, as of midnight on Boxing Day. 12.01 a.m. Boxing Day. Ontario went into a whole emergency lockdown. December 24th was our last day to get a workout in. Yeah, gyms are gonna be closed. Yeah, so you can't work out after that day at a actual gym facility. Maybe some people have home gyms, but for us, it would have been our last day working out at a gym facility. I got up and I asked Greg, are you gonna come to the gym? I am not going to the gym on Christmas Eve. I did my last workout on the 23rd and I made it a really good workout. I hit some numbers I hadn't hit in a long time. I was super happy. It was an awesome workout. And I knew Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, they're gonna be hectic. I'm not working out. It's gonna be a two day break and then back to the bands. See, I didn't know that. Cause it's not like you to even skip a day if it's your last workout. I could have sworn you were gonna come with me, but that wasn't the case. Fair enough. So I went on about my business and I went to the gym without Greg. And that usually never happens. We try to always go together if we can. So I got to the gym about 20 after 10 and this guy comes in right behind me. And I noticed him walk right onto the gym floor. And it was kind of odd because there's certain gym protocol that we have to follow given the circumstances we're in this whole COVID pandemic. So the protocol is for this gym, when you come in, you're coming in with your mask and you're also leaving with a mask. This guy didn't come in with a mask. He came in with a hat. I just wanna say from now, I've never seen this guy come in with a hat. He's, I've seen him before at the gym, but never with a hat on. And you're supposed to scan this QR code that the gym owner has on the wall, which is for COVID tracing, as well as sign in, name, date, and time. So before I did all of that, I decided to settle into the gym and then I noticed he goes on the floor and he's being all silly and saying hi to people and, and whatnot. And he comes off of the floor. Still wearing his coat, still wearing his outdoor stuff. Right, right, as I'm still changing. Yeah. I'm taking my time as I'm noticing this and it's not unusual for people to come into this gym. It's a small facility and it's small knit gym members. Like everybody knows everybody, everybody has seen everybody. So it's, it's not a really big gym. Um, and you guys won't be able to see it, but people are working out at the back of the gym. So you're seeing just the front and everyone's down at the back where there's squat cages and other gym equipment. So afterwards, he puts his jacket down on a chair and then he goes back on the gym floor and it looks like he's on his phone. Now, I think this is an act. I don't really think he's on the phone, but as he's on the phone, he takes a quick scan of the gym and notices nobody's looking at him, but I'm still over there by the chair getting ready <laughs> to come on the gym floor or warm up on the treadmill. While he was talking on the phone, I locked the door and his back was turned while I locked the door. Due to COVID restrictions, there's a 10 person capacity in the facility. So originally it was after, if you're the 10th person, lock the door behind you, but then People can't count, people might be in a change room or whatever, and would end up going over capacity. So he implemented the door is locked at all times. There's a doorbell. We gotta do a head count. It runs on kind of an honor system. There's not always an employee in oh, the yeah. facility. Yeah. So there might be gaps where there's That's not right. somebody there. 
again, it's one of that small knit community. Everybody knows each other, so it, the system works. But yeah, to avoid going over capacity, lock the door, ring the doorbell. So Chantel locked the door. Right. So obviously I got in because the person before me didn't lock the door, but like Rick said, that rule was a new rule that was just implemented by the gym owner, just to always keep the door locked. So anyways, I lock the door while he goes back onto the gym floor and acts as if he's on his phone. Maybe he is on the phone, I don't know, but it, it looked like a whole act to me. He grabs a pair of dumbbells, it was 60 pounds, that's what I thought I saw was 60 pounds, and he heads to leave the gym. And I'm watching him leave and I'm thinking he sees me, like he don't see me, like I'm standing right here. But at this time, I'm not thinking it's a theft. I'm like, oh, this is an arrangement. The gym owner is loaning out dumbbells. How unfair, because I've been begging to borrow 20 pound weights for like the longest time, or just weights in general. So he tries to head out the door and as he's heading out, I'm signing in. You can kind of see my feet at the bottom there. I'm signing in and doing the QR code, but he wasn't anticipating the door to be locked. So he actually has to put down the dumbbells, open the door, and then head on out. You actually can see him going to his car. The security camera catches him going to his car and putting the weights in. But then the guy comes back. <laughs> this is the point where Chantel texts me and says, Greg, the gym owner is lending, gym owner out, is the lending out dumbbells. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, he's not. Like, like yes. yeah, this guy just put 60s in his car. I'm like, oh, seriously? Okay, we'll I'll have to talk to him, man. Like, yeah. if he's alone and waits, because yeah, we know we're all going into lockdown. If he's just going to have dumbbells that are sitting there, hey, do you have a an odd number that <laughs> you wouldn't mind loaning out or something you have doubles of? And yeah, Chantal been bugging him, you know, if we go to lockdown, could we borrow weights, could we borrow bar, could we borrow plates, rents, like what, what are our options? And he's like, no, I don't know, man, because like a lot of people are asking. And he kept saying no, and we feel like we're all on a cool level, like he'd be straight up with us. So oh, to see absolutely. somebody taking dumbbells and leaving, like, wait, this guy? Over like, us? I, I, I've seen this guy <laughs> in here, but come on. He doesn't know you like we know you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's truly how we were feeling. So then I said to Greg, you know what, I should just text the gym owner and see if I can borrow ways. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I want some too. Anyhow, 20 minutes later, the gym owner comes in and he walks in and everything's off Fruit Loops and fairy tales. And I look at him and he sees me looking at him. So we make eye contact and he's like, what's, what's up, what's wrong? I'm like, so you're loaning out dumbbells now. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, don't even bother. Like, I know what's going on. You're loaning out dumbbells and I couldn't get dumbbells. Like, are you serious? And I'm talking to him as if I found out that there was an arrangement and I'm upset because I can't get a pair of weights to, to borrow. It's like, seriously, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, forget it. Don't worry about it. He's like, no, seriously, what are you, I can just go check the security cameras. You're texting me. Gym owner's acting like he doesn't know anything. Right. So you're getting a little frustrated. Like, I'm done, man. This is not cool. Like, why would you treat me like that? Like, I'm so, so good to you. Yeah, and I uh, honestly thought like the gym owner was like pulling one over me, like trying to keep it on the down low. He's like, no, like he's really like, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, forget it. I know what you did. Whatever. Because nobody, because remember, this guy was on the phone. Right. So it's like, oh, he's, you know, confirming the arrangement, letting him know. So picks up the dumbbells, goes to his car. Gym owner comes in just a few minutes later. So it seemed like an arrangement. So right. when you're texting me and telling me the whole story as it's <laughs> happening, I'm like, you know what, it sounds like an arrangement, like don't, you you, you don't know what's going on. Like, like you're trying to tell me, to me. yeah, you're like, just relax and when he comes in, like talk to him or whatever. Yeah. So I do just that. And then gym owner says to me, oh, like this girl, man. And the guy that took the weights just starts laughing, like nothing's wrong. And I'm like, I'm like so confused. I'm like, either the gym owner's lying to me <laughs> or, because at this point, I don't know it's a fact. I really think the gym owner is lying. So it's either he's lying or they're just like really buddy buddy and there's something that I don't know, like I'm missing something. I finally tell the gym owner, I saw someone take weights and it's not fair. He's like, you saw someone take weights? I'm like, yeah, I saw your 60s are gone. And he's looking over there and he's like, what are you talking about? Like, what? And he's looking, I'm like, cause remember I thought I saw the number six. So he's like, I'm gonna go check the security cameras. I'm like, yeah, check at 1020. Start the camera from there. Cause I know the time I came in and I know I saw what happened. So he goes over to the security camera. I try to work out. I realize he's now in a zone. 
and the whole mood changes the whole the whole mood changes <laughs> because as the mood changes now and i realize he sees that something's gone no one can talk to the gym owner like people are trying to talk to him and he's just focused on that security camera to find exactly the footage i was telling him about the whole time this is happening so i'm home i'm just here with the kids and Chantel is messaging me the whole play-by-play. -play. This is what's going on, this is what's happening now. While that's happening, the guy who Chantel has watched walk it with the dumbbells is friending up the gym owner, like talking to him, laughing, carrying on. So now you're super, like, what the heck is this guy that, like, is he trying to distract him? Is that what's happening? The thing is, at the time, I just really wasn't sure because I, this whole time until the end, I'm thinking the gym owner forgot about the arrangement. Cause this guy, he's so busy. So I'm like, no, this because the way he walked out so blatantly in front of me with them, I'm like, no way. There's yeah, no just way. Walk out right past you, like it's... I'm right there. <laughs> so, anyways, Greg's at home with the kids, and I'm texting Greg play by play, like, what's going on? Like, this is what's happening. Like, what were you thinking? Oh, I was loving it because I, I was actually sharing it with our friend. Oh my gosh. Another a friend of ours that goes to the same gym and has the same knows the owner well also and we all like make jokes and, and get along well. So I'm describing the scenario that's playing out and he's just laughing like so it's just the whole thing every time I'm getting information I'm passing it on and we're just having a blast like this is crazy. Like I think this guy might have actually stole them because the way the gym owner is like he's not having it right now. He's a cool guy and he's he really is. chill laughing laid back. And oh, the nicest Chant guy. <laughs> when Chantel describes, no man, he's in a zone. He is not happy right now. No. Like, really? Because I've never seen him like that. Right. And then at the time, so I'm distracted now because I want to make sure that the gym owner finds the footage I'm talking about because now I'm, I'm like, I just realized, I'm like, wait, did I just witness something? Because now I'm starting to put it together. This is not an arrangement because he's not laughing. He's not cracking a smile. So I don't know how it is where you guys are from. But weights, dumbbells are like gold. They used to be a dollar, dollar fifty a pound. That's like normal yeah. um, cost for weights. They're going for two fifty, three dollars a pound during lockdown. So crazy. It, it's just high demand. Everybody wants to set up a home gym. So he's got hundreds of dollars sitting there, and, and like they could be just taken to be sold. Yeah. Or this guy, he, he clearly works out. Maybe he just really wants to be able to lift <laughs> during lockdown, or he's gonna make what? Like 200 bucks, maybe. Oh, easy. We're at the security footage, and people are like wondering what's going on because me and the gym owner are just looking at the security camera, we're pointing and we're talking, and the guy is lingering around. The gym owner goes to me, are, Aren't you gonna tell me who it was? I'm like, Honestly, I can't. And I would never just be like, Oh, it's that person right yeah, there. What are you gonna do? Just point a finger? Like, I can't like do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It's just, it's just not in me. Like I just could not do it. And the guy literally was behind us on the cable machine, like lingering around. And I'm like, don't worry, you're almost near the footage. Watch it. And um, do you think he knew what was going on? The thing is, he came back to the gym. Why did he come back? I think he wanted more. He didn't work out once. He's just talking and talking and talking. I know that guy because I've seen him in there before. I've never seen him wear a hat before. And that's never. what it threw everybody off. Like, wait, he's wearing a hat? Yes. Like, I know the guy you're talking about. As soon as he he's wearing a hat, he's like, wearing a hat. Yeah. Like, he was in a disguise. <laughs> Throw the hat on. Now the cameras don't recognize you. He, to <laughs> he, he totally he planned doing. that day. I think he came in to get more. I think that was his goal. I don't think he's just going to take one pair. But the gym owner could have came in at any time, which he did. He came in like 20 minutes after we had come into the gym. Yeah, so but it's if just you like didn't say something, he would have got like... No one would have noticed that. Like that would have been for time. Like, hey, wait a second, where the? Yeah. You look around because you don't think like you're not gonna scan the gym. Somebody else must have them. When you move on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, we're at the security camera, and he finds the footage of the theft. This is the point where I get FaceTimed. <laughs> so, I'm getting a front row seat. <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah, I call, I call Greg. It's, and he's eating his breakfast. He's just eating like, there with his- Man, it was- I'm, I'm, like, I'm just sitting at the table <laughs> and I've got the camera, the phone set up and I'm just watching the show play out. This was amazing. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so we see the set and the gym owner goes just like this. Like his body language, just like I felt heat. He goes, what the am I seeing? What am I seeing? 
and he just takes off his hoodie, he walks to the door, he locks it, and he shuts off the light. And he points at the guy, and the guy scoots on over. And this is how it went down, guys. No word of a lie. The guy's like, hey, hey, now, 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 hey, hey, you said I can borrow them. Hey, I, you said I can bring them back next Thursday. And now, 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 remember, remember? And I'm, and I'm looking, and I'm like, who is lying to me here? I just wanted to borrow 20 pounds. And this is what this all equated to? Imagine being told you just forgot we had a conversation. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, what? I was going to bring him back next Thursday. <laughs> the gym owner's like, what's next Thursday? <laughs> Where are you he's, like, he's like, hey, man, get your stuff, go out there, get my way, bring me back and don't ever let me see you come here again. He's like, wow, 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 come on, man, it's me, it's me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? So at this point, I think Chantel's getting a little convinced that the gym owner might have legit forgot that he had a conversation because yeah. this guy is holding up his, his story so well. So well, I'm like, I was so confused. All those people who are at the far end of the gym, there's a scene, obviously, now. Yeah. From what I understand, a couple of the gym members A couple, knew this, like a... There was a good handful of people... That knew about this guy, and was like, no, watch this guy, because he plays dirty, so... Yeah, he, he already had that reputation. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, the guy goes out, <laughs> he gets the weights, and he brings them back, and he's still acting as if there was an arrangement and the gym owner forgot. So he keeps this pretense up like, oh man, you forgot. Oh my God, man, I would never do it. It's me. I said I'll bring it back next Thursday. And he's going on and the gym owner's like, just get out the gym now and just leave. And he's just, he's raging. Like he is so upset. Yeah, picture the most cool guy. Oh my gosh, But when so you <laughs> take advantage of that oh, yeah. to just flip. Yeah. Man, don't do that to people. It, yeah, it sucked. The guy went and brought the weights back in, and then he left. The people at the gym were convinced that he didn't care, he's just gonna go somewhere else and do it again. The interesting thing is anybody who has just met this guy and just had conversations with the guy seems like a totally cool guy. That's the scary part. <laughs> but then anybody who's known him, and after the fact we end up talking to, like we have friends who known him. Right. They're like, oh man, that's his front. Like that. Yeah. And I had such a hard time believing it. I'm like, what is going on? The gym owner is like, this guy has deep rooted issues. Like this guy is not okay, man. I was supposed to be at the gym for just an hour at home. I was there for like two and a half hours. You had somewhere to go to meet your family and I held yeah. you up and it was such a scene. So as the gym owner is Feeling all the other members in the gym about what happened. Another gym member goes, someone's ringing the doorbell. And this other gym member goes, hey, um, he left his phone, he'd like his phone back. So the gym owner goes, oh, tell him I'll mail it to him. Which is something I would have said too. And I honestly wouldn't have given back his phone. See, that's where I think I would just call the police and give it to them. He didn't them call the, the police. I know, because again, he's just like, I just, it's done. Right now it's done. Yeah. The guy's not coming back. You got your stuff back. And I can, I can totally appreciate that also. Yeah. But like, who knows what I actually would have done in that situation, right? Yeah, because it catches you off guard, right? Like, it, you're not expecting that. The gym owner ended up giving the phone to another member to give to the guy outside. Like I said, I wouldn't have given him his phone back. I would have just kept it, thrown away. <laughs> like, what you do? Yeah. Can I have my phone, please? I, I just yeah, sure, to steal your weight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, but anyways, it's like, you know, I just get rid of him, give him his phone and get rid of him. And but again, kind of that works. member was also one of the guys that just like can talk to people. Oh, and yeah. And also yeah. thought, because he only had a short conversation with that guy. Like, yeah. I it was cool. I saw 60, but it was 50s. And because of the way the five's written and he was walking out all quick and trying to be slick, I thought I saw a six. Because the whole time the gym owner is looking and the 60s are there. So that's why the gym owner is like, what are you talking about? Because my 60s are right there. Yeah. But there was an empty spot on the rack. And he that's noticed that. Like, that's what made him start looking right? Questioning things and going to check the security camera. But people were like, why would the gym owner give him his only pair of 50s to borrow? Like, the gym owner is going to need that because during lockdown, the gym owner is still able to go to his gym and work out. So it wouldn't even make sense. See, I wasn't thinking of all of that. But yeah, it was such a crazy day and it was what a way to end 2020. But I stopped at that. 
So I guess yeah, you guys you can call me Hero C. You left without your boots. It was such a busy <laughs> day. Like that distracted me from everything. I left my winter boots there. Greg had to go That's back That's what you were them. changing when yeah. this guy was trying to sneak out of there. You were putting your workout shoes on, sitting on yeah. the chair, putting the boots away. And um, I had to go back later to get them, so I got to talk to the owner also. And he's showing you all this, these texts. Yeah, he that. showed me all the texts, because what he did was took a, a clip off security cam and posted on an Instagram story. And all the people that know this guy knew exactly who he was, this is what he does, and all the stories start coming in. So he's just showing me, look at all these texts, look at all these comments on the story. These people that know him, that's what he does. So it was almost a sharing amongst other gyms in the area to prevent this kind of thing from happening, because yeah, if if Chantel didn't see, like would've he left. totally would have got away with it. Yeah. And the manner when I'm looking back at the tape, it looks like he's just there to get weights. He's not there to work out at all. I think he was legit trying to get more and just wait for his next opportunity. It seems so silly because it was the last day that we all could work out at a gym, so people were there. There's like it was that capacity. Yeah. yeah. So I don't Especially know. Especially for like 10:30 in the morning. It was Christmas Eve. Everything's like. Most things are starting to be closed or people are off work now yeah. and they're trying to get that work out in before yeah. lockdown. You know what? What are the chances I was there at the same time? Like I walk in, he walks in and I saw, I'm standing right there. It's all perfect timing. You even got held up at home. You end up going a little later than you wanted to. Everything, like yeah, it was all perfect timing for this to happen the way uh, it did. Yeah. For you to just have to be standing changing as he walked past you with dumbbells, you just catch that glimpse and Do you not think he saw me? Up. He had to know you were there, but I think he thought you either weren't paying attention or just like he thought, it was an arrangement. Because he, he was on the phone, this kind of thing, phone away, picks up the dumbbells, out the door. Well, bang, <laughs> unlock the door. And then, so, and then just plays cool with everybody, right? So you, you would never hurt. think. Because if he had just put his coat on and left, you probably still would have thought it was an arrangement, but it's gone. He would be gone and I would be it. Anyways, so that is the story on how I stopped the theft. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, subscribe. and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell, bell because we, we don't, don't want, want you to miss a thing. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. All I want to do is borrow some 20s. That's, That's it. That's all I wanted. And I still, and I, guys, I still don't even have 20s. Thank you.